Have you ever had a week it feels like you're kind of on the roller coaster? There's there's some definite highs and then there's some lows and they come up and down the valley. I think there's some things in this week, personally for me and for our church, that are really highs. One of the highs is that we're hiring a new assistant pastor, someone who's going to focus on worship and and grow into other roles here. So, you know, if you're a person that's interested in that kind of thing, check the link below because the job description is there. That's that's a real high for us when we think of how God is growing his church and the excitement of bringing uh, new people in and uh, what he might do through that. The other part is when you face situations that are beyond your control, when you face things that are bigger than yourself, things that you can't change, that you can't make happen. I'm reminded of uh, a number of years ago, this is nine and a half, almost ten years ago now, when my first wife Jada uh, went to be with the Lord. She had brain cancer and after almost a three-year battle, uh, she went to be with the Lord and we faced amazing loss in our family. Personally, for myself, it was the hardest time of grief, one of the darkest seasons I walked through, that sickness and and that death. God, in his way, restored that bringing into my life, a wonderful wife, Sherry, and great daughter, Eden, now that's with us, and still this wonderful son, Ezekiel, 12 years old, and a great family I'm still connected to that was part of Jada's family. And if I could sum up the one thing that God taught me in that time, is that he taught me that I have choice every day between fear and faith. Am I going to take the path of fear and I'm going to walk down that path and allow the enemy to bring discouragement and destruction into my life? Or am I going to choose the path of faith? So when I hit hard things, I remind myself and I think, God, what am I going to do here? Am I going to choose faith or am I going to choose fear? Am I going to walk in faith knowing that you are the one who calls us out on the water, knowing that you are the one in which I can put my trust because you've saved me first and you provide for me? Or am I going to walk the path of faith, go down the what ifs and allow the things that I don't know to dominate rather than the one I do know. So today, wherever you find yourself on the roller coaster, the highs or the lows, I encourage you, choose the path of faith. Faith in God. Put your trust upon him. He is the firm foundation. He is the rock that doesn't shift. He is who we need. God bless and hope to see you at sunrise this weekend, 10 a.m. We gather for worship, Highway 10 and 188 in Cloverdale. God bless.